Whitney Port and her family have tested positive for COVID-19. On Sunday, the fashion designer, 36, revealed that the family of three had all tested positive for the virus a week prior. Port, who shares four-year-old son Sonny Sanford with husband Tim Rosenman, shared the health update on her Instagram story. Over a snapshot of Rosenman, Port wrote, So last week we all tested positive for COVID. I wasn't trying to hide anything, I just didn't want to make it a bigger deal than it is slash was and I didn't want the pressure to report the news. The nausea last weekend I guess was the first sign of it but we've all been fine otherwise. A little congested and my taste is not at its sharpest, but we are okay," Port said of her symptoms in the candid post. Just quarantining, cooking and napping, she admitted. I was starting to feel like it was just a matter of time before we got it. Anyways, what shall we do to pass the time? The With Wit podcast host asked her followers to conclude the post. In December, Port opened up exclusively to about another aspect of her health, her desire to expand her family nearly a month after she suffered a miscarriage. She admitted she and Rosenman definitely want another baby and would be talking to a fertility specialist to start that process at the end of the month. Port has previously suffered two miscarriages and a chemical pregnancy. S free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. It is a daunting thought having to go through this process again and all the unknowns, but it is something that we're looking into figuring out because I know that while I'm scared to get pregnant again and scared to miscarry again and scared for the newborn phase and scared for the breastfeeding, I'm scared for all of it, but I know that if I think about my life in 20 years and I look back that, I will regret not going through those things," she explained at the time. The Hills alum said her doctor told her it's safest to speak to a fertility specialist, though she has no idea what that looks like. It's totally new territory for me, but it's just a little bit too scary to leave it to fade again at this point with my history," she added. While the couple would love to have another child, Port said she's trying to go with the flow and continuing to tell, herself, that even if we can't have another baby, we are still so blessed to obviously have what we have. She continued, whatever happens next is really just extra and I really do believe that. Rapidly Changes, is committed to providing the most recent data in our coverage. Some of the information in this story may have changed after publication. For the latest on COVID-19, readers are encouraged to use online resources from the has partnered with GoFundMe.